Three and a half to go in this first period. Both teams still a 0-0 score. Neal walks in, sends a pass, and he scores! Andrew Barton taps it home to give the Lakers a one to nothing lead. Do with just 35 seconds left in this power play. Hurlihay working now, drops this to Ragaseo. Ragaseo fires, deflected in by Neal. And the Lakers go up two to nothing. We'll see if that can continue as you can see the pass up to Barton was taken away. The Pioneers trying to work back up. They get around Federal, that's tapped. Kicked aside by Zawaski, and that goes in for the Pioneers. As they close the deficit to two to one. Neil will look to find your answer, DJ, as now Hurlihay works with Barton. Barton the pass to Neil. Neil backhands it in. Neil with a beautiful backhand. The pass is by Barton, setting him up perfectly just behind the goalie once again as he gets his second goal. Now two goals and an assist. Neil being the MVP so far for Oswego and this game itself. That pass went right towards him. We'll see it now with Oswego. Probably get one more chance on this power play as they bring it down. Johnson looks to load up and fired just wide of the net. Another shot and he scores. Water Street buries the rebound on the power play to extend the Oswego lead to four to one. Play, yes, they have the full two minutes, but they're gonna wanna get the pressure and try to get goal going because they are running out of time. They have to make something quick work now as they get the goal. The second look, chance, and the goal by number 12, Joel Wetmore, as he finds the back of the net to make it a 4-2 game. And that will do it here as Oswego is going to, to walk away with the 4-2 victory over the Utica Pioneers.